So how exactly did we get here? Um, me wearing a suit and a name tag, explaining things to people in an exhibition with pieces by Jonathan Barbeau, R1B2, from New York. Check him out, he is also below in the comments. Some of my own stuff. And Mutsu from Brussels. These ones down here, these are actually homages. Uh, if you can tell who, just comment below and uh, tell me who it is. So how did we end up here on the walls of the Hannover State Opera? Once the funding for Interfaces was approved, I went out to meet with Lars, my usual partner in crime for those digital experiments. And we traveled to meet artists and dancers all over the country. Much love, my lucky crew. Then I met with Ludovico Pace at the State Ballet of Hannover and we started testing different methods of scanning with very different mixed results. Finally, we decided to go with MediaPipe by Google, which allowed us to scan with normal cameras because our plan always was to get a result that everybody with a small budget or no budget at all could use. I linked the address of our service below where you can go and use interfaces yourself. The result of scanning dance is a huge pile of data. The position data of all the joints of the human body 30 times per second. Now, if you take this huge pile of numbers and place them within the code of generative art, you're creating an abstract transformation of the underlying dance piece. We're basically replacing any number input that most generative art code uses with the dynamic values we get from scanning dance. And because the human body can only move within the bounds of certain harmonics, the numbers from the scan look a bit like a Perlin noise. That Perlin noise that you usually find in that kind of code? Only kind of, because every choreographer has their own movement dynamics. The decay, the attack of the movement and the speeds are very specific. So specific in fact that people at the exhibition started guessing the pieces on the images before they were reading the signs. So after we got all those JSON files with all the data and we had a database with all the choreographies, I started sending out those JSON files to friends all over the world and got the most stunning artworks back from them. Thank you, my friends. Some of them are in the exhibition, others are in the online expo link below. The only person missing here in this exhibition is the one that kind of inspired me to do this thing, uh, Iskra also known as Pointline, and I will link her, well, various pages below so you can see what she does. Incredible art, and uh, when we met in Madrid, we actually thought about this thing happening. It's a pain you're not here, is that? So let's uh, meet soon and do one of these together. From the site that we set up for you, you can go to the server of interfaces and there you can go to the playground to play around with the choreographies that we scanned already so they're in the database and then just play around with the code change some code change some colors uh, or change whatever you want to and try out what code and movement can do together and maybe just have a look at what we scanned for you now here's the thing, if you like this channel, if you like the project and you want to support it, there's a link below to some NFTs that you can buy. So you buy artwork, you have something nice to put on your walls and you're supporting this channel. Is that a deal? Okay, I'll be seeing you in the next one.